Today, Kevin and Andrew and I are gonna be trying some crackers. These are various crackers from Dewey's Bakery. Uh, they were $2.50 a bag at the Fresh Market. Now, Kevin and I have tried Dewey's Bakery cookies in the past, and they're very, very good cookies. So I'm excited to try these crackers. I have the sharp aged cheddar. I have low country boil. What do you have? I have the other two. Carolina style barbecue and chipotle cheddar cornbread. Those are the ones that look good. The cornbread. So we're gonna start with Kevin's So we're gonna try with the low country boil. So this is the only one that's like a cornbread chip. Yeah. Uh, cornbread And cracker. they really don't have a description of the flavors on here, of what, the, what they are. So they come, actually the cookies, uh, the cookies that they make come in a package like this, but I didn't expect the crackers to come in a package like this. You want to read the calories? Oh, uh, yes. These, uh, it says there are five servings in the bag. In this little box. 18 crackers are 110 calories. Wow, okay. that smells uh, like a spice. Okay, and are here. And on that. Um, the rest of them are 120. Oh, okay. And this one was how much? 110. 110, okay. It tastes oh, like, that freaked me out, a cheese it with Old Bay seasoning. No, it's not as strong as the Old Bay one thing that I ate. Christina couldn't be around me after I ate that bag. They're pretty Old funky. <laughs> Old Bay's pretty, pretty strong. It's not well, bad. But we liked it. Well, we liked I mean, wouldn't be seeping out of your labor being just like the harbor. I think um, I <laughs> like these. They're they're softer than I expected. They are softer. Uh, for me, uh, like a bread almost. Yeah, the the texture of these, you could eat a lot of them, um, but the texture of them is so <laughs> so soft. I would rather have like a cheese it that um, a crisper cracker. Yeah, to, for um, me. I agree. Those are good though. I like them. Those are fantastic. They're yeah. very good. I like the, the seasoning. When you first bite into it, you don't get that full flavor until you've swallowed it, and then it's like, wow, there's a lot of seasoning there. I don't know about you, but I You got like, it from the beginning. I ain't like six of them. Well, you ate I'm one. Like, I I'm like one. covered in that seasoning right now. <laughs> I only ate one. Those, so those are fantastic. I like them. They, they do have a very good spice to them. I, I, I do a, wish they were crisper. I do wish they were all crisper too, but some people like the soft crackers. Me. I don't like kettle chips a whole lot because I'm a big man and I don't want to have to work that hard. <laughs> but you love cheeses. I do love cheeses, but cheeses aren't, aren't as hard as a kettle chip. It says we bake in small batches with time honored recipe. They are located in Winston Salem, North Carolina. So you see what and these are the sharp aged cheddar. These are a little crunchier. So, little we should have tried these first mm -hmm. because they don't have any spice. No, but they're very cheesy. They are very they cheesy. Good cheese flavor. But normally we try to, the, uh, we try to. Uh, and it's like a natural cheese flavor. It's like you carved off a hunk of cheese and eat it. Mm -hmm. I like those. I like those too. Those aren't bad at all. Normally we go from the plainest to the spices is what I was trying to say. So these these should have been tried first because Hey listen, I tried. I didn't you said I like those them. first ones probably would have been fishy. <laughs> we didn't know the low country boil. We thought that it might be shrimp or something, but they weren't. This is the Carolina style barbecue. And I thought we would need a plate to put them on, but I, I like, like the little it. containers. I'm trying. You I, don't like, get them, I like the containers too. Although I have to say that for well, I, I was thinking about storage, but you would just put them back. I put them back in the bag, and they got the little metal things okay. to, to, to fall. Yeah, on. you would put them back in the bag and store them. Okay. I didn't get any flavor up front. I got a but lot. the flavor on the back end is something I've had before and it's awesome. I like it. Come on, smoky. You, uh -huh. I don't know, but I've had this before. That's what it is, it's smoky. Yeah, but you know what? I don't like those as well as I do the cheddar ones. 
I like these better. Do you? Mm -hmm. the I like the Old Bay ones. I love them. Yeah. So we all like different ones so far. Mm -hmm. I love the flavor of those, the smokiness of them. There's also a little kick of the spice. It's not it's not heavy, but yeah. just a little bit of a, a heat to it. They do have a little spice um, though. Yeah, I really, really like those a lot. Those are my favorite so far. Chipotle pear cornbread. All right, this does not look red or no. dark or, I'm hoping for a really good spice. Yeah, Chipotle, I like, I usually like that smoky pepper flavor from Chipotle. So we'll, we'll, well the last ingredient is dried Chipotle chili powder. Yeah. So, and yeah. I will of course have a close up of all these so that you can see the, the color. How many, wonder how many you get, how many surveys? You get five surveys. Okay. Definitely getting that gritty cornbread. Mm -hmm. I like that texture. Mm -hmm. I like that cornbread bite. That really does remind you of cornbread. Do the greenness. The flavor of it. That's like pulling the crust off the cornbread. Mm -hmm. The flavor of it is cornbread. Yeah, I really don't get Chipotle. I don't get Chipotle. I barely get the cheddar. If there's no cheddar, little, uh, mm -hmm. it's more, it's the more cheese. cornbread flavor. I like those a lot. I wish they had the cornbread in with the cheese, like that flavor uh, in the cornbread like texture. Like a garlic cheese. Ooh, yeah, they need to good. do a garlic one. They might have a garlic one. Yeah, well, these are just what they had. Yeah, before. we bought. How much were them? These? They were two fifty a bag. I don't think that's bad for for the for the flavor. And I love the texture. I know you guys aren't too keen on it. No, 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 I didn't like the texture of the first one, but the other ones have been crisper. The first the one first was kind of like a club cracker. cracker. Was like a what? A club cracker. One I thought you little... said clay cracker. I was like, yeah, it's like a clay cracker. <laughs> the, the first cracker, one wasn't as crisp as no. all the other ones. So I don't think you would go wrong buying any of these. No. Like okay, them. but my favorite is the Carolina style barbecue. What's your favorite? Old Bay. Old Bay one. The, Old Bay. The, the, the old country ball. And that's country country ball. No, that's what his is. Uh, mine's your... probably literally the sharp <laughs> eight cheddar. But I wish that flavor was on the cornbread. That's yeah, funny. Really we all this this is ones. literally, if they make any other flavor with this cornbread, I think the cornbread will overpower it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I, that's my second favorite is the cornbread one. Oh, I like my them. second favorite will be this. Well, these. Yeah. These are really good. So this was fun to try these. It really if was. You're, if you're interested, uh, I would go to Dewey's Bakery on the internet. I have not been to their website. So like I said, they might have all kinds of different crackers. If they don't have a garlic one, I think Andrew had a really good idea there. I think a garlic cracker would be delicious. Mm -hmm. So I sure. will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.